Hey guys, today I'm going to make this unicorn for you. It's super cute and it's great for decoration or to take photos. It really looks nice and everyone will want to take a photo. I'm Booba, welcome to the channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I do is print out the template. This first template is your example for how to assemble your larger parts of the template, like this. And so I printed out the complete template for the craft and I just position the parts in order to cut them out and glue them all together. Once you've cut out and assembled all your parts, we're going to move it onto a foam board. The width of my board is 5mm and it is a 1m by 80cm board. In order to do this first template, I'm going to need two boards. So I've got some extra pieces of board that I had saved and I'm going to use these pieces to complete assembling my board. To glue the boards together, I'm going to use a glue gun, so let's go! So it's really simple, you just need to glue along the width of your board to glue one part to the other. For now, I'm only going to join this top part to the bottom part, which will basically be the size of our complete unicorn, and so it will just be missing the front section, the snout. I don't know if that's what you call it. Okay, so once it's joined together, I move our template onto the board and trace it out using a large needle or a large tool with a very thin, sharp point. Because this foam board has a top paper coating, so it's styrofoam in the middle with a paper layer on the top and a paper layer on the bottom. And with the help of this tool, I mark out my template by ripping through this upper paper layer. And you can also do this with a precision knife, which works nicely. The knife that I use is nice and sharp, so if yours is not sharp, make sure you sharpen it so that your blade cuts nicely for this. And in this way, go around cutting out your template. And to cut out your template, you go around once with your utility knife, and then also a second time. This way, you make sure that it will cut through the whole board. So don't worry too much about it because this part is really easy to get right. And so in this way, you're going to go around and do part by part. After I've cut out the part for my unicorn's face, it's still missing a little section of board at the bottom that I need to glue on. So I also need to glue together those parts. So I'm going to use the leftovers of the board to do these parts. That way I don't waste another board just for a little section. So I would recommend that you buy at least four boards in order to make the whole unicorn because we also have the side sections and it's main to make. So you'll need enough board to make all of these parts. So I would recommend that you buy at least four boards, also remembering that you need a 5mm thick board. Now to stick on the side sections all the way around. I cut out 15cm strips except for one strip that will go at the base of the unicorn. This one will be 14.5cm. Because the strip won't be glued to the bottom of the board, it will be glued to the side. The rest of the strips will go on the outskirts of the board. So a small part of the unicorn template will be on the ground with this part of the board giving support and on these 15 centimeter strips I'm going to make some light cuts so that the strips are more malleable. This way I'm able to curve the strips. So when there is a greater curve in the unicorn I make a light cut every 3 centimeters and when the curve is very narrow I make the cuts closer together and so I make a cut every one centimeter. And these light cuts shouldn't cut all the way through your board to the other side of the strip. They should just make it possible to bend. So there should still be a part of the board connected and this is what our strips should look like. Thank you. 
And now I glue on the base of the frame and I also do the gluing all the way around the edge of the unicorn. So it's really simple and easy to do using a glue gun. Remembering that when the curve is curved one way, the cuts need to be on a certain side of the strip. So there will be some strips on which you will need to make cuts on both the right and the left side in order for it to curve both ways. So this is a really important technique for you to learn to help you as you make your frames and sculptures and you will have this technique mastered. And when there's a tiny strip missing, it's really easy to fix. You just need to get a tiny piece of the same board and cut it out to the size necessary and glue it on with a glue gun. So now I'm just missing one part that I need to glue on, which is the bottom part. And you can see how this part of the sculpture curves both ways, as if it were a number two or an S, just the other way around. So for this I made my cuts on both sides of the strips, one on one side to bend one way and on the other side to bend the other way. You just need to take a look and you're going to notice that the strip is equally malleable on both sides. So you're going to do the same thing for the inner section of the sculpture. You can't see my markings here because they're subtle, but I made some marks on the inside and from close up you should be able to perceive the markings and you can do this with a pencil in order to, for them to be clearer. It's no problem. When you come to do yours you can do it however is best for you. Okay, now time for the inner parts. So I made cuts both on one side and on the other for my strip in order to make this movement so that it curves correctly. So once you've done this, you just need to glue it onto the markings. So for this part, you're just gonna go around gluing you're going to have to secure the strip a little whilst the glue dries, so glue on the upper part as well. If you need any help, you can use some tape to help you as you do your gluing. The tape will help hold the strips in place whilst they dry, and once they have dried, you can remove the tape, no problem. So once I've done one side, I also went on to do the other side, and now it's just gluing on the parts and designing them using the same board. And this part is really simple, there's no big secret. And once it's all ready and all the parts glued on, I just need to line the floor in order to place our unicorn on top. And I'm going to do this because I'm going to paint some sections. Not all by myself, I'm going to need some help because like it or not we're studying at home and it's more simple and easier to help out with the decoration. And of course, who doesn't enjoy doing this part? So now you will decide where you want each colour, the colour that you want to use for the hair, the mane. So you just need to paint and to paint you can use a craft PVA paint or collagen spray paint which is an eco-friendly paint or another option is 
Deco Paint Acrylics Spray Paint. These are the ones I would recommend for you to paint foam board or polystyrene board. So you just need to paint it and then you can blow up the balloons that you're going to place inside. However, if you don't want to place balloons inside, you could also fill it with something else like flowers, for example, or whatever you like, you can fill it with anything. You can also fill it with LED lights. I'm filling mine with 5 inch balloons inflated to 4 inches, 4.5 inches and 3.5 inches and a few balloons blown up with just one pump of air. The technique I'm using here before gluing them in is to position the balloons exactly where I want them. Most of the balloons blown up to 4.5 inches will fill this white section and if there's any space left over I blew up another balloon to the size needed to fill the leftover space, not to a specific sizing. But you can calculate this however you like and blow the balloons up to the sizings of your choice. This is just a technique that I decided to use and for me it worked great. And this is the finished result. With our unicorn all ready, now it's time to add on some little details. I glued my ears to EVA foam paper, so I used both black EVA and on top of this purple, and on top of the purple salmon pink, so it's nice and solid. And for the horn, I just printed and cut it out. And for it to stay nice and solid on the back of the coloured horn, I glued on some polystyrene board as well. And the finished result is incredible. The size of the unicorn is approximately 1.19 meters in height and 1.26 meters in width. So it's nice and big nearly 1 meter 20 in height. It nearly passes me in, in size. It really does look great and it will work so nicely in your decorations and will definitely be extremely popular when it's time to take your photos. You can also use it for your party display wall. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It looks great. I'm going to stick around here. Lots of love to you all and see you for the next video. Bye!